Hello, I'm Roland Partridge. I'm a consultant paediatric surgeon, and this is the world's best minimally invasive surgical training equipment. It's the best because it's evidence-based. There are now 28 peer-reviewed validation studies demonstrating its usefulness and validity as a training tool to improve your surgical skills. It's the best because we're surgeon-led. EOS Surgical was set up when we were junior surgical trainees. We're all now practicing consultant surgeons. We built these tools for us as much as for anyone else. And what you see in front of you now is the result of over a decade worth of evolution and refinement from when I first put a webcam in a shoebox because I wanted to learn to lap suture into what we now have is a global training ecosystem. And training is the key word here. That's why you're watching this video. That's why I'm standing here because we want ourselves to train to be the best surgeons we can be. We want the surgeons around us to be the best surgeons they can be, ultimately to improve patient outcomes, to make minimally invasive surgery more accessible, more reliable and safer for patients around the world. So we structure this training using the key elements of Kolb's experiential learning cycle, instruction, rehearsal and feedback. So we'll start with instruction. We've built a curriculum of skills with 18 modules arranged in three courses of gradually increasing tiered difficulty. Start with the core basic instrument manipulation skills, advanced and tissue dissection techniques, and elite, which is suturing from basic suturing to advanced techniques like end-to-end -end anastomosis. For each module, there is a text descriptor of how to complete the task and a video that demonstrates what to do and gives hints and tips. As well as organising the courses in core, advanced and elite, we've also curated specialty specific courses for OBGYN, OBS and gynae, urology, orthopaedics. And we also include the five fundamentals of laparoscopic surgery modules for users of that system. When you open each module, you'll see three target times. These are the times with which you should aim to complete the task. We've put the grades A, B, C, the three tiered timings, because we want to encourage excellence and give longevity to it. So that's the instruction element. Now let's talk about the rehearsal component of that learning cycle. So we have optimised EOSIM to work with a smartphone or a tablet. You can put, you can have an EOSIM with a webcam inside it that plugs to a desktop or a laptop computer, but the future is mobile. So we have optimized it to work with smartphones or tablets. The camera on your smartphone or tablet is way better than any webcam will ever be. So the way the system is set up is that you run the app on your smartphone or tablet and you point the camera through this aperture in the lid. And then what is going on inside the box when you click start task is relayed to your screen. If you have a flash on your device, click that and you get great coaxial light. If not, there's an LED strip inside which optimises the light. Tap to focus. You can see it looks great on a tablet screen, even a phone. A lot of the time at work, I just pop my phone on the lid. Quick five, ten minutes warm up before a big case. A phone screen is great. If you can do it on a phone screen, you get to the real thing is, is a whole bit easier. Looks brilliant on a tablet. Um, lots of people now, both at home and in institutions, um, use an adapter cable to plug it into a screen, any screen, TV or monitor, um, uh, Android, USB-C out or um, Lightning for Apple devices to an HDMI adapter. And you can then have the ergonomics of the screen move to where you like. Now, the key to the rehearsal element is repetition. That's why we've made all the disposables incredibly cheap and easy to replace. A lot of them, they don't look like the real thing, but they don't need to. They need to, What they do need to do is they need to feel like the real thing. So take the foam strips for the appendix practice. They feel like an appendix. If you pull the ligature too tight, you will cheese wire through. If you don't pull it tightly enough, the knot will ping out. And we've reproduced that through all the disposables, so they're very easy and cheap to replace. We've also focused on the instruments. It's the little things that make a difference, isn't it? We've listened to people who said, a lot of the instruments, the handles are too big. So we found a great supplier of really nicely weighted instruments with handles that are not too big and fit the majority of hands. The needle holder, it's got a great grip and release mechanism and a, and a great tip. So all these elements combine the ease of setup, the ease of replacement of your disposables and the quality of the instruments to allow you to practice, practice, practice. And as you practice, I'll move these instruments around here. If you can see, there's a red sticker on one instrument tip and a blue on the other. And the little crosshairs, those demonstrating that the software is mapping the movement of those instruments as you rehearse and complete your task. Once you've completed your task, click End Task. And this is where we move 
to the feedback stage of that experiential learning cycle, or the instruction, rehearsal, and now feedback. And feedback is crucial because no matter how good you are, you can always get better, you can always improve. And SurgeTrack, the software, gives you two types of immediate feedback. Firstly, the metrics, the path distance of your instruments, how smooth that motion's been, how uh, the ratio of left to right hand, the percentage of time those instruments were off screen, uh, the average acceleration. Now those metrics over time will start to mean something as you build up your learning curve. But more immediately, we put in a natural language generating process that reads these metrics and gives you some direct instruction. The idea is it's like someone standing over your shoulder and saying, you did that quite well, but, and the two areas we focused on are evidence-based. They're based on many of the validation studies that we've done that looked at what are the key factors that distinguish novices from experienced surgeons? What are the things that improve over time with rehearsal? And they are the ratio of left to right hand. Novices, very dependent on the dominant hand. Experienced surgeons, much more ambidextrous. So there's a line here that says, scope for improvement, you are heavily dependent on one hand more than the other, work on using them equally. And the second area is that of the percentage of time that your instruments are off screen. It's well observed, you will have seen it, that novices' instruments are waving around all over the place. That is inefficient and, 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 and unsafe. And so we have direction here that says scope for improvement. Your instruments were off screen greater than 20% of that task, time in that task. Work on keeping the instruments within the operative field. We built some other fun features. You can get feedback in other ways. If you want to share uh, the video of what you've done immediately with uh, friends or colleagues, you can email or uh, post through the various social media channels. Sometimes you do something and you're not quite sure why it went well or why it went badly. And you've got an option here to re-watch your video immediately so that you can watch what you did and try and learn auto feedback as it were. And if you're just rehearsing, you just click done at this stage and then all those metrics get stored in your portfolio. The video stays locally on your device. If you've achieved the task in one of the target times that we saw earlier on, then you click submit for grading and that will be then sent to your assessor, um, if you're a trainee, who will review your video and give you some more feedback, which we'll see the details of in a minute. Once you've completed, you click done and then you can get further feedback by looking in the history section. Now here you can see how many hours you've practiced, how many tasks you completed. If you're part of a group within an institution, you can see the total time and the number of tasks within that whole group. And here you can see the global time and the number of activities uh, completed in total. So we have over 6,400 hours, uh, over 104,000 repetitions of these tasks completed by the global community of users. We're in 88 countries around the world. And then the formal element of feedback comes from when a video is submitted to an assessor. So in an institution, you can have assessors who will have access to videos that have been submitted when one of these target times has been achieved. So let's look at this one I submitted earlier on. And this is what the assessor sees. So they can see the video. You can watch that to make sure the task wasn't completed and you know, they didn't just set it running and go make a cup of tea. Um, you then have the, the timestamp at the bottom that tells you what time they completed it in. You can grade them A, B and C according to which of the target times they achieved it in. That's all you have to do to sign off a module. And once an individual has all six modules within a course signed off, then a certificate is generated. Um, and that is often now used in different countries around the world for trainees, for their annual competency review assessment, and for trained surgeons for revalidation or proof of skills, retention, development, and continuing professional development. There's another element to feedback here that if you wish, you can use a Likert scale on one to seven on three areas, uh, um, the handling of the instruments, the flow of the procedure and respect for tissue. So if you want to give people a little bit more feedback, you can score them there and you can also leave a comment. So that's the complete training package. It's a structured, tiered curriculum of instruction. It's rehearsal with readily accessible hardware, um, and disposables that are very easy to replace so you can practice, practice, practice. And it's groundbreaking mobile device based feedback using instrument tracking to give you advanced metrics, natural language generated feedback immediately after task completion, and then the option of an assessor process where you can have both time based and performance based structured feedback to help guide future rehearsal.
It's unique because it's surgeon led. We live this day in, day out. So the system is constantly evolving and improving and all updates get pushed, get sent to all users. Uh, we've got some really interesting work coming on stream very soon using non-technical skills overlays to further enrich this training environment. It's unique because it's incredibly robustly evidence-based, 28 peer-reviewed studies from different specialties in different centres in different countries around the world, demonstrating its validity as a training tool. The details of those papers are on our website. And if you're one of the centres who would like to carry out some studies, perhaps in the future, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. So to summarise, it's the complete training package. It's structured instruction, it's readily accessible rehearsal, and it's fabulous objective performance feedback. It's unique because it's surgeon led and constantly improving and developing. It's very robustly evidence based to ensure that we are making surgery safer globally. It is the best minimally invasive surgical training system.